For the people of Kolegal, making silk is a way of life. It was during Tipu Sultan Zira, sometime in the early 1700s, that people in this village in South Karnataka took up silk weaving. Drive to Kolegal today. It only takes about 3 hours from Bangalore and you will see what looks like any other village. But venture into one of the sheds built next to the houses and you'll discover a unique world. A world that is dominated by the humble silk form. The whole process originates here. It is in the so-called rearing hall that silk worm larvae are placed in shelves of mulberry leaves and allowed to feed for 5 days until they grow into mature silk worms ready to spin their cocoons. The mature worms are plucked out of the shelves and taken to a separate room where they are put in cane baskets. The worms are left undisturbed for 72 hours the time it takes for them to weave themselves the priceless cocoons, the very core of the silk industry. For a month, these farmers invest all their effort in rearing the cocoons, bringing anywhere between 10 and 100 kilos of cocoons to the government-run auction houses in Kolegal. At these auction houses, their produce is weighed and laid out, ready to be sold to the reelers. An average day for a silk reeler begins at 10.30 in the morning where he finds himself sorting through the sea of cocoons in an effort to judge them based on size, uniformity and density before bargaining and bidding for the best price. On average, a single reeler buys about 150 to 200 kilos of cocoons every day, paying 250 to 400 rupees per kilo, depending on the quality. Some years ago, all the participants in the cocoon auctions, from farmers to reelers, were allotted numbers and sales records were then digitized. All dealings became organized and transparent, which is a good thing. But what may not be a good thing is the introduction of technology and automation in the silk production process. The fear is that machines will take over the reeling and weaving processes and wipe out generations of tradition. For hundreds of years, the reelers would take the cocoons home. The women would then sit in the boiling sheds where the cocoons are softened by dipping them in boiling water. It is at this stage that the yarn can be extracted manually. Then the weavers take over. The specially built homes of the weavers can be found in the maze of finding lanes in Kolegal. It is in these homes that the weavers, they are always men, spend hours on creating intricately designed saris. It can take a month to weave a single sari. For this, he is paid only labor charges and 4% of the profit. Today, it's different. Today, the cocoons are taken to factories such as Saroja Silk Industries, where machines are used to extract the yarn. Away from the heat of the little sheds, the working conditions in these factories are a lot better. As for the weavers, their jobs are in jeopardy. And it is the ever-growing demand for silk that is to blame. What chance do these weavers have of competing with machines that can churn out meters of cloth in just one day and at a lower cost? Clearly, it is man against machine at a time when supply can barely meet demand. For the villagers of Kolegal, the future is uncertain. How do they keep their traditions alive? How do they battle technology? Should they learn to live with the machine? These are difficult questions no one is prepared to answer today.